Right, here we are after a night's camping at the um, Otaki River mouth, the south side, the more remote side. The northern side, as you'll see in a minute, you can get to through Otaki Beach and there's camper vans and things like that over there. But I've come the south side, basically along the Tehoto Beach. Um, yeah, to Tahoro Beach to get here. The thing is that this time the Tahoro Beach was actually quite um, nasty, even with the lift and big wheels. Uh, it was actually quite difficult. I got uh, cross axled. Um, I managed to get out all right, and then remembered that there's actually a four wheel drive track that runs parallel to a lot of the beach for many k's or several k's with access to the beach every few uh, oh, a few hundred meters and so if you were going any main distance along Tihoro the, the beginning of it's fine much like Pekka Pekka and Wider Erie and Foxton and all of those but it certainly gets quite nasty with the um, as you get close to the Rotaki River mouth with all the millions of years of uh, deposition of shingle and stone and stuff like that. So while I videoed this or a lot of this trip about a year ago, I'm, we'll go back down the four wheel drive track. It's really important to be able to access it, um, particularly if you do want to get to this spot. And you do want to stay on the beach as much as possible. There's actually a road, Sims Road or Sims Street, I forget, but south of or near Tihoro that you actually that you can stay on State Highway One and then come down. So we'll just see if uh, yeah, we'll just stop there and just have a quick look. And that is where many people um, who want to access the beach and come this way would access it from or you can as I say from Tihoro um, follow the track Straightforward here. Remember, we're going backwards. Um, yeah, so this is. It's quite. Yeah. It's quite rutty in its own right, to tell the truth. It would actually be a smoother ride up on the beach for a K or two. general plan is to go along here for a while, maybe pop up on the odd um, pop up on the beach from time to time just to see when it's getting more sensible to go down. It's obviously a lot nicer being on the beach than on this track, but it does serve its purpose. So, as you see, every few hundred metres, there's some people there.
might just actually have to check whether this is actually technically Sims Road or Sims Road this bisects it because the only other time I've come is I've come along along the actual beach itself Like for example, let's just drive up here. So we're not too far off actually. Right. Oh. Yeah, so you wouldn't this is good access for fishermen and things like that, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to go down on the, um, all down on there just for the sake of it. There is quite a lot of beach access. Like literally every every hundred meters or so, his his seems to be a popular one just here. I might just pop in. A few two-wheel drive vehicles as well. If you get a high ace van here, you can get anything. make do with what you've got. Another entrance there. See, so that probably was the Sims Road, and this is the track to access.
we won't go down just yet. So we'll go up th this right. So that yeah, um, that's that's Sims Road. So that's the main access point. But it looks like the track, four-wheel drive track, carries on this way a bit. So we'll see. Should this should go all the way to Tehoro. But as I mentioned, we'll come along here for oh, maybe a K and the beach will straighten out and I'll drop back on the beach. So that high ace van, it didn't have to go too far. Three or four hundred metres, I suppose, on the track. Uh, back there from Sims Road. anybody coming the other way. So I'm hoping to get back on the beach, but oh well, yeah, there must be, there must be. Um, once, it's, once it flattens out, we won't have that stony bridge. So if you wanted to get to that little camping area on the south of the Otaki River mouth, you're probably smarter off going along State Highway 1 until finding where the Sims Road access is. It's actually closer to Horo, it sort of doesn't, I don't think it comes straight off um, State Highway 1, it's sort of, sort of even parallel to this. But, um, once. So we're getting a few houses so we must be getting close to Chihoro.
tracks just to be a died out. just at the very end. We should actually be able to get on the beach here. Yeah. Alright. Nice, oh, this is alright. Okay. So, if you were coming along the beach, you're going to have to look quite hard for that entrance. If you're coming along here and you want to get straight on it, let's say by the stream, you might actually have to have a stamp around and try and find I mean it wasn't that difficult, but I can imagine a bit of a storm wouldn't help matters. And as you see the beach is quite a lot flatter here, but certainly it's only half a K up there and it um, gets quite unpleasant. So Yeah, I think definitely if you want to get to the Otake, Otake, that little camping area, you're better to go straight on to Sim, find Sims Road, um, rather than tackling the quite deep shingle. If you want to see what the shingle's like, my previous video about a year ago, um, I, I, I did it, and it'll give you an idea, it's, it's a bit like the southern coast. It's a bit like the Southern Coast type shingle, uh, big piles of every few, every 20 metres or so. Anyway, I think this might be Coco, oh, I've forgotten what stream this is. This is, this is all okay. But back there I was hitting um, metre high drifts of the shingle. Main entrance to Tihoro must be around here because I see a boat. I see some a boat trailer, I think. Is it? Some sort of trailer. Probably that there. Right, so we'll head down here to Pekka Pekka. Now there does appear to be some small no-go zone between Pekka Pekka and here. Um, 
a few hundred meters and it can't actually I've never seen it it's not specifically marked but I do see, there is a pink um, rock or something like that which possibly uh, or a bit of wood Maybe that is, that's meant to designate the non-driving area. She might just turn around then. I've gone through it before, if there wasn't other people there, I... Just be careful all that surf as well. Um, there's no, there's no point in really skipping through the waves and things because you'll just end up getting salt water in areas that can't get washed out. And in some areas of the beach, I'm not too sure here, but certainly up Oho and Okeo, there's um, very very soft sand due to wormholes and things. I've been told by a friend of mine, Richard who um, stays well clear. Right, so this is the Tihoro Access Road. Remember to get out of four-wheel drive.